Hey guys, how's it going? Um, okay, I'm going to show you my uh, Xbox 360 game collection today. Alright? So, let's get started. Alright, this is one of my personal favorites. Oblivion. I just got this back from my friend because he wanted to borrow it. I haven't played it that much, but out of the time that I have played it, I can tell you that this is a very fun game. Um, this one in Fable 2, which I will bring out right after this, are one of my two most favorite games. Alright? And Fable 2, this one um, was very fun for me, um, a great storyline. Um, yeah, it was a pretty fun game, a pretty long game too, so if you don't like really long games, I wouldn't suggest this one, but if you like RPGs, then yeah, I would suggest one of this one. This is one of the best. Alright, uh, this one, I am actually a golf fan, so I just got this one, thought I could get some easy achievements, but apparently I couldn't get that many. Uh, Easy achievements, I can get a few, but not that many. This one I got when I got my second black controller. Uh, the only one I've really played is Bomberman Live, and on the back there they gave you a free uh, token for uh, Mrs. Pac-Man. That's the only uh, two I've played on there. Call of Duty 4, this game is very fun. I didn't spend that much time on it, because um, I got my Xbox in... Um, January, so yeah. Skate 2, this game uh, I rented from Blockbuster first and played it for a little bit and thought it was an extremely fun game, very addicting. Um, yeah, so that's that. I uh, got a lot of cool pro skaters in there. Pro challenges, uh, it's very cool. Left 4 Dead, this one is very fun. Uh, fun as well. You know, the whole part of uh, killing zombies and everything, that kind of seems to be my thing. Uh, yep, very addicting, very fun. Hitman 2, this one is actually on the original Xbox. I just borrowed this from my friend. I have not yet even touched it, really. Um, been too caught up in other games. Probably not too many of you play the original Xbox games, because most of you have 360s now. Uh, I also have another Xbox game, which I'll bring out now. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, right here. That's right. Yeah. I have the very first Halo. I played the first mission on Legendary and thought it was pretty fun, but then I moved back on to Black Ops and everything, which I'll bring out now. Black Ops, this game I got in late November, and i got to say, it's one of the funnest Call of Duty establishments that I've ever played. I like the whole thing where you can customize your red dot. Um... I'm, I am kind of bummed though that they took off the coloring of the clan tags and you got to wait to your 15th prestige because I thought that was a pretty cool thing too. So, yep. Modern Warfare 2. This was actually one of the very first games uh, that I got. Um, I played this for a little bit. I think I got to 5th prestige. I actually just played this yesterday. I'm like 5th uh, prestige level 62, I believe. Uh, yep, very fun. Guitar Hero 3. I am a big guitar fan, so I got Guitar Hero 3 and I got the controller and everything, and I actually do have a, um, real guitar, and I play a lot. I take lessons, so, yep. Uh, my last game, Halo 3 and the Halo 3 ODST combination. Uh, this game was very addicting, very fun, very cool multiplayer modes. Um, I think, though, Call of Duty beats this one, like, right out of the dust, because... You can, you know, customize your classes. You don't have to run around and look for the sniper or the shotgun. You can just, um, in Call of Duty, you know, <coughs> once you unlock it, put it in your class. But this one was very fun, you know, before Modern Warfare 2 came out. I played this a lot. I got to, like, a major. Then once Modern Warfare 2 came out, I was like, holy crap, okay, uh, take this game back to GameStop. But I didn't because I realized you, I wouldn't get much money for it. So, yep. Alright guys, that's my game collection. I hope you liked it. Bye.